I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking to you about integration by parts. In problem number 23, we'd like to evaluate the integral of t squared e to the negative t dt. All right. So to evaluate this integral, what I want to do is we want to use integration by parts. And the first step of using integration by parts is I need to break this thing up into a, a u piece and a dv piece. So the u is going to be the guy that I can take the derivative of. Well, I've got a t squared and an e to the minus t. I could take the derivative of both of those guys. Uh, what about the dv? Also, I could take the antiderivative of both of those guys. Uh, and so really, the choice is up to me. And when the choice is up to me, I want to make life easier. I want to make things more simple. And taking the derivative of t squared gives me a 2t, which is a simpler expression than t squared. So let's put the t squared in as my u. And that thing means that everything else is going to be my dv, which is e to the negative t dt. OK, so now that I've chosen my u and my dv, I can say that du is 2t dt, and v is the antiderivative of e to the negative t, which is minus e to the minus t. All right. So now that I've broken this up into my pieces, I can rewrite the integral using integration by parts. And I get that this is equal to u times v, which is minus e to the minus t times t squared, so u times v, minus the integral of v du. So I multiply these two guys together and put it in this integral. So I get minus 2t e to the minus t dt. OK, so you see that I have a minus outside the integral and a minus inside the integral. I can get rid of that minus and make it a plus if I want to bring this minus out, make that a plus. Let's rewrite it that way really quick. Uh, just to make it look a little cleaner. So I can write this as minus e to the minus t times t squared plus the integral of 2t e to the minus t dt. <clears throat> All right, so what I've done here is I have simplified my original integral. Now I have a new integral, but this guy I also don't know the antiderivative of without using integration by parts. So we'll need to use integration by parts again on this integral. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing again on this guy. I'll divide this up using a u and a dv. And this time my u will be 2t because I'm still trying to make things more simple, and then I've got an e to the minus t dt as my dv. So the derivative of u du is 2 dt, and v is equal to negative e to the negative t. All right, so let's rewrite this guy. I'll bring this up here. OK, I still have my minus e to the minus t times t squared. So I still have minus e to the minus t times t squared. And then I have this integral. So I'm going to say plus. And I'm going to open a parentheses when I replace this by two things, because I want to be really clear, especially if this is a negative, that I'm writing it correctly. So when you replace an integral, with two other expressions, you should probably put it inside of a parenthesis just to keep everything clear. OK, so what replaces this integral is u times v. So that's negative 2t e to the minus t. So negative 2t e to the minus t minus integral of v du, and that is 
two, uh, let's see, negative two e to the negative t dt. Okay, and so that's my v times my du. All right, let's rewrite. I've got a negative e to the negative t times t squared minus 2t e to the minus t plus, because I've got a minus and a minus, so I've got plus integral. Uh, I could bring the 2 out if I wanted to, so write 2 on the outside. I've got e to the minus t dt. Now I just have to take the antiderivative of e to the minus t and I'm basically done. e to the minus t, we know that antiderivative so we can just write it at this point. This is minus e to the minus t times t squared minus 2t e to the minus t plus uh, actually, when I take an antiderivative here, I get minus e to the minus t, so I'll just write minus 2 e to the minus t plus c. And we have our antiderivative.